Okay, cleaning the lens. That was probably way, way over there. I don't know if that really helped or if it's because I'm zooming in. It looks better when it's zoomed out. Oh. So I know on Jeremy's iPad it comes out really, really not delusional. I don't know what word I'm looking for. There goes a firework. We're really a distance from them. If I zoom in, it just doesn't look right to me. Maybe it's coming out right. Okay, so if anybody gets a hold of this, well, I'm going to go on my Facebook and hopefully all my friends will have me. We have changed it to Nomadic Storm Chasers. The page. The little golf cart. See, it's just two. I'm zooming back out. Because that looks clear to me. I'd rather be able to see the fireworks in the distance and have it clear. I think Moody Gardens also does fireworks tonight. These people over here have a campfire. We have a campfire. We find enough wood. We always hear about oceans and driftwood. I think there's a person standing over there, but I can't tell. The lighting out here will play tricks with your mind horribly at night. It is a real trip. I mean, you will think you are seeing things that are absolutely not there. Especially if people are out here with flashlights looking for little sand crabs. Why they chase them at night? Because I see them all day. I have no clue. There must be something more exciting to it. Because they do it over on the beaches in Gaveston, too. And, uh... No, it just, it looks like there's people around you. It's just really a creepy feeling. Like, you think you see things, especially after the whole crocodile video that the guy shot down here. I think that, I think when I saw that, it was on YouTube. Well, it made the news here. I mean, front page paper, look, crocodile. I haven't seen one. Knock on wood again. There is a person. Most people don't go in the water at night. It's really dark. People coming in. I was wondering if there will be more people. End of... I think school starts here August 15th. I could be wrong on that, but I know I'm fairly close. It's coming up in the next couple weeks. The deep. The fireworks. It just seems like the summer just blew by. It's just weird. I like the older you get. And we always thought school was short when you were a kid. And, or not short, summers were short as a kid. But really, that was a long time back then. We got a lot of stuff done as kids. Bike riding, vacation, sleeping, watching TV. We had it made. But now as you get older and you don't want time to pass as quickly, especially for those of you up north, because trust me, I spent last winter in Maine. Oh my goodness, it's, I'm glad I can say I went and saw it. I was excited, but not so much anymore. It was probably beautiful this summer. We had snow, a good, it was as tall as me and I'm 5'4". That's where they plowed it up. But I mean, the level in our driveway, because we didn't have a car then, was probably at least three or four feet tall from just constant snowstorm. You, to get to the mailbox, you had to tunnel your way through. The poor cats would go outside and just sink, sink down. And then it'd rain and sleet. And I don't even know. I think all those videos are on my Facebook. I said it's Bonnie Jacobs Flint on Facebook. I'm looking for more followers, people. Because most of my stuff is comedy most, and videos. Daily life. I have a twisted, I guess that's what they call it, sense of humor. I was trying to think of a couple of them I saw. There was one that I saw the other day about the heat down here. I said, this kind of heat that we're having here is the kind that burnt down Sheila She Shed. Actually, I think they're doing them on the beach. But I like that one. That's kind of just, I don't know. I saw my mom, we have a strange sense of humor. Something that wouldn't be funny to somebody, I can bust up laughing forever. I mean, people would be looking at me like, okay, it wasn't that funny. To me, it was. The last one that went off looked like a fountain. I wish I did have some kind of way to light this up at night. The moon's helping as it can. Headlights. 
And the ocean's just so pretty. You see the moon blowing off the ocean. All the ships out there. The air just smells so good. It's so different than cities. I mean, don't get me wrong, we still have good friends up in Maine, up in Waterville. We stay pretty much or try to in contact with. He is not doing 15 miles an hour. <laughs> and, um, I just would not then not wish to go back to city. Like one of the worst places I ever saw. No offense if you live there in Massachusetts. I ended up in Boston. It's a long story, but it was horrible. How do people do it? I don't understand because I am such an adventurous outdoor person. And it's giving me a Facebook code. I think Jeremy's doing it. It did what? Oh, do you need that code? Because yeah. I announced it to everybody. Okay. <laughs> well, they don't know your password thing, so, or your thing. Okay, I just heard fireworks over there. Okay, it is 693953. 693953. Five three. Five. Yeah. I think I have a majority. The plus that'll expire here in like five minutes. Anyway, back to Boston. That was just a hard experience. And I was downtown because I was taking a train out of there. Oh my goodness. It was just and everybody is back to back and I'll get into stuff later, but I felt really bad because we had a bad snowstorm coming in. Well, not bad. Bad to, okay, this area, per se. It was supposed to be like four inches. Now, they say that in Texas, and people board up their houses. They stock up for a month. I mean, Texas is not prepared for that kind of stuff. And the place we've lived pretty much has not been prepared for that kind of stuff. And in Springfield, Missouri, we got snow in a decent Ohio where we originally started from. We'd have our moments and things would shut down. 12 inches was a miracle to us. 12 inches up there is like, oh, look, it's snowing again. How are we going to get the car out? But, uh, not for where it's going. The fun part of getting old. No, it's, but the homeless people stay in the train station. It's a train bus station. It's really kind of cool. It's big. I mean, it has all kinds of stores. It has like Starbucks and breakfast sandwiches, and of course your little Chinese buffet things, which I, don't, I doubt would be good at the bus station, but we love them if they're not in a bus station, bus train. Amtrak was awesome. The train ride was great. I wish I'd recorded back then. But the homeless people stayed in there during the day. Well, I got there at like, shoot, like one o'clock in the afternoon, two, three, somewhere in there. Got my ticket, got everything arranged, sat down, and my bus was not leaving our train until like 12.30 the next day. So I had the enjoyment of spending the night at, in the bus stop or train thing. And like I said, I already had my ticket, so I was all good. Well, like security came in probably about 9 o'clock and started running the homeless people out. By midnight, they pretty much had everybody out. It was me. Lady sitting next to me, which I have some pictures of on Facebook somewhere. She thoroughly believes that aluminum foil is killing our population. It, it, it was weird. And if you're Irish and you're a police officer, it's all bad. She was way out there. But she was still, I mean, she was surviving day to day. And they were going to make her go out to ask security about her. And he said that's what she chooses. Because I did feel bad. Because they get, asked me, they actually tried to chase me out of there. <laughs> I said, no, I have a ticket. They said I can stay. And he kind of looked at me all weird and stuff. And I'm sure they know the regular, so. I'll go back to this and say. So he looked at my ticket. And I asked him if he needed my ID and stuff. And he said no. So that worked out well. I mean, it was just me in there. And there was the security guy, so I knew I was safe. And then there was the four maintenance guy that kept mopping around me with that big buffery thing. So it was a big place, but I don't know. I just couldn't do traffic down there. was horrid. I took an Uber driver from, well, gosh, it was about an hour away. I don't remember the name of the little town. And um, we got into Boston, and I was freaking out because I don't like all the traffic anyway. He can only get, and we're going down these roads. It's jam-packed. 
he's trying to let me out so I can run in the store real quick because, you know, you don't want to buy anything at the train station. You don't want to buy anything anywhere in Boston. Uh, God knows that there's a gas station downtown, so you better pull up before you go down there. And, um, there was a fire truck trying to get through, and we're generally, the fire truck, eventually they got traffic shut down in the lane going the opposite direction of us. And took him down, because he was coming our way, and took him down that road. And I can't imagine your house being on fire, or, you know, you've been attacked by a snake, or you're having a heart attack. And some, the emergency people have to get to you, and for that to be delayed. That's just kind of, I'm good here. EMTs and sheriff out here, we're all good. <laughs> you know, something happens there, right here. But anyway... I have talked long enough, so I'll probably go in there and play Bakery Story. I'm still doing that. It's kind of ticking me off with those ads, but I still play it. Okay, everyone. Well, we're out. It's Bonnie and Jeremy.